Hazards and Risks Identification and Control Learning Objectives After viewing this information sheet, you must be able to 1. Identify the different hazards and risks at the workplace 2. Identify means of controlling the identified hazard and risks 3. Workplace safety is essential for providing a safe environment in which employees can work with minimal risk to their health. On the job accidents can cause injuries and death. Preventing these accidents requires the effort of all employees and the organization. Numerous workplace of risks exist, including dangers resulting from human errors and mechanical malfunctions. An organization must use a combination of safety training and safety protocols to prevent as many employee injuries as possible. Occupational safety and health OSH, is an area concerned with protecting the safety, health and welfare of people engaged in worker employment. All organizations have a duty of care to ensure that employees and any other person who may be affected by the company's undertaking remain safe at all times. The aims of OSH are as follows. 1. Promote and maintain the highest degree of physical, mental and social well-being of workers in all occupations. 2. Prevent workers from living work due to health reasons caused by their working conditions. 3. Protect workers and their employment from risks resulting from factors adverse to health. 4. To place and maintenance of the worker in an occupational environment adapted to his physiological and psychological capabilities. Hazards and Risks Identification and Control Hazard identification and the steps taken to minimize the risks associated with identified hazards are a critical component of working safely. A hazard risk assessment and control plan will provide the basis for the requirements needed to work safely. These plans require continuous evaluation to ensure risk assessments do not change and that new hazards created by process changes are identified. The three-step process for dealing with workplace hazards involves recognition, assessment, and control. Recognition involves both identifying a hazard and determining if there is a possibility of workers being affected by it. If there is such a possibility, it must be assessed and if it is found to be significant, the hazard must be controlled. 1. Identify potential hazards. Hazards can be identified by such means as review of the manufacturer's manuals, inspection, interviews with persons who work perform similar work and review of incidents in this or similar work areas. List of common hazards. A. Exposure to chemicals, biological agents, bacteria, viruses, dust and mold, equipment and motion, electricity, sharps, extreme temperatures, noise, vibration, violence. b. Other hazards may arise from work design, ergonomics, working alone, unattended processes, unplanned loss of air, power or water, animals, fire, spills, other emergencies. Workplace Hazards Two, Assess the risks associated with each hazard. Risk assessment is important in the analysis and evaluation of risks associated with hazards. It helps the persons involved determine appropriate ways to eliminate or control a hazard. Some risks associated with common hazards include in the case of equipment, unintended contact with moving or dangerous parts, electrical shock, electrical fire, emission of harmful airborne material during use or maintenance, spills and leaks, sharps and burns, occurred. Animals pose a risk of physical injury and illness from improper restraint and hygiene controls. In the case of work design, 
Most commonly musculoskeletal injury from such factors is lifting, awkward or repetitive movement and vibration. There may also be a risk of hearing damage. Risk is assessed by considering the probability of an event in combination with the severity of harm the event would cause to the employee, company, community, the public and the environment if it occurred. Probability factors are ranked in the following descending order of importance. Frequent, probable, occasional, remote, improbable. Severity factors are ranked in the following descending order of importance. Catastrophic, critical, marginal, negligible. Risk is rated by using the following matrix. Frequency, severity, probability. 3. Hazard control. All hazards must be controlled either by removing the hazard or reducing its risk of harm to an acceptable safe level. Both proactively to prevent its occurrence and reactively to minimize its harmful effects in the event it does occur. Often more than one hazard control method must be implemented. Example. Chemicals require a combination of proper storage, labeling, safe work practices, the use of PPE and emergency response equipment, procedures and training. Ways of hazard control. A. Uh, eliminate hazards at their source. Example. Redesign the work process. Substitute a safer chemical for a hazardous chemical. Use different equipment. B. Control the hazard. If it is not practical to eliminate will reduce the risk to workers by using engineering controls. Example. Machine guards, noise enclosures, ventilation to dilute the concentration of a hazardous substance. C. Protect workers from the hazard if not practical to control. Example. Use tools such as administrative controls, safe work procedures, effective safety training, proper supervision, or personal protective equipment. D. Implement selected controls, includes. Example. The development of written safety control plans and or safe work procedures. The provision of information to personnel of the procedures and a method of ensuring proper procedures are followed. E. Assess effectiveness of selected controls, assess through regular inspections, testing and monitoring, evaluations of complaints or concerns received. Investigations into near misses or other incidents.